Hey guys, welcome back to Evavid Artistry. My name is Emily Ardeth and today is going to be a very quick tutorial, you guys. I was running late for work and I only wanted to do a two color eyeshadow look today in order to achieve a glamorous look and not take too much time. So if you guys wanna learn how to do that, then keep on watching. So I went ahead and I primed my face using the Milk Luminous Blur Stick Primer. And I'm just gonna go ahead and do my eyebrows and prep my eyelids for eyeshadow off camera. So I'm now taking the Zulu palette by Juvia's Place and I'm taking this matte pink shade at the bottom and I'm just going to start off with very little and I'm going to be placing that from the outer corner to the inner corner of my crease and blending it up toward the brow bone. You want to start off light when you're only using one color in the crease and then as you build the color up, build up the intensity, you're going to want to put that color closer to your crease in order to achieve a gradient so it looks like you have multiple colors when in all actuality you only have one. And I packed that color on the outer corner and the inner corner in order to achieve a halo look. With that matte color down, we're just gonna go ahead and jump into the Jouer Ultra Foil Palette and take this shimmering pink shade, and I'm just going to be pressing that on the lid, only the center of the lid, and then kind of blending it out with a brush so that it doesn't look too harsh. Now this is the eyeshadow look completely done. You can leave it just like this, or you can add some eyeliner, or you can do a wing liner. I chose to do a wing liner today using the Too Faced Better Than Sex liquid liner. I then used the Lancome Taunt Udol Full Coverage Concealer in the shade 90 in order to clean up the edges of my wing. With the eye look completely done, I went ahead and I did the rest of my foundation and powder off camera. And now we're just gonna go in with the Sephora Collection Bronzer in Los Cabos. And we're going to be bronzing the forehead, cheeks, sides of the nose, lips, and jawline. And then I'm just gonna top it off with the Bare Minerals Invisible Bronze in the color Tan. I will then be dipping into California for a blush and then topping that off with the Kitty Cat Highlighter from the Nicole Guerrero palette. I'm then going to be topping off that highlighter with the Jeffree Star Cosmetics Skin Frost and Ice Cold, my absolute favorite. So now you're just gonna go ahead and do everything you did in that crease and do that on the lower lash line, which in this case is only one color. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and do my lashes and lips off camera. And this is the final look. I am so obsessed with this look, you guys. I absolutely love pink and the way it looks on my skin. Thank you guys so much for your support. Please like, comment, and subscribe. It really does help me out. And let me know what looks you would like to see me do on this channel. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you on the next one.